Hey guys, this is Aisha at Young's Paper Creations. Thank you so very much for visiting my channel. I have before you a lovely embellishment idea. And I recently finished a journal that I was uh, looking through and wondering what can I do to make it extra, extra special for that special person who will be ordering this journal or any of my other journals and I wanted to do something that I've not done as yet and so I decided to make one of my little darling angels by using one of the fish the pegs there and those little beads I took a cloth and with the help of some pipe wires I did it and as I was looking at it I thought well though cute though beautiful just in case it's too big for others maybe some smaller ones might be good as well so I decided to go with the smaller ones because they were so darling and as you can see with the journal open I'm flipping the pages and she's right at the side here not going anywhere She's not going to interfere with your journaling at all. And when it's closed, you can pop this off if you wish. Or you can have it stay on and enjoy the beauty of this little angel. But I've got some darling little ones that I've created. And look at that. Look how cute that is. Look at the face, the mouth. So I decided to make these and they were made using these petals and you're going to need some uh, tread for the top, decorating the top. You're going to need some pipe cleaners and I have um, my flat nose pliers in case I need to close my jump ring because you will be needing a jump ring to go at the at the top for the hook okay so we are gonna do this I went ahead and made two holes here so there was one but I made the existing hole a little bit bigger added another and so imagine that I'm gonna undo this one that I have mm, I'll undo one that I had I started one that I need to undo. Okay, so here is one. The pipe cleaner could be anywhere from three inches to four once you're able to work with it safely and manageably. So you need your pipe cleaner, your bead, which could be this, you know, a, a, not too big. Depends on how big your doll is. You use your estimate as to how big the head will be in proportion to the body and your jump ring so now I'm gonna take my jump ring make sure that it's closed properly and it is put my pipe cleaner in and then take the legs of the pipe cleaner and first adding a dab of glue to the center hole of my bead to ensure that the pipe cleaner will stay in place I'm gonna put both of the legs into the bead depending on how big the hole is you'll have to work your way through and then pull it all the way in so now you see the hook that you're gonna have to hook on to your clip okay so now I open the legs grab hold of my petal and take each leg into one of the holes that I've created. Just imagine you're putting on a pair of pants. <laughs> one leg into one, one leg into the other. And then you carry it up to the top. Look at this. It's as if it's a little dress. Do you see that? Okay. And then I'm going to hold the legs together and twist the head. Now this sounds 
I'll twist the head by holding my top of the jump ring and just rotate it at least, you know, maybe four or five times. This sounds so terrible, twisting the head of the, of the little doll, right? <laughs> Aww. Okay, so when you're confident that it's secure and in place, now you can play around with your little dress, right? Now, at this stage, I need to complete the dress of this little friend, and I've chosen to add this pink thread to the top for the dress. So I will undo my thread. And I'm going to put just a dab of glue around the collar area just to ensure that the top will stay in place. The thread will stay in place. So the thread is the decorative piece for the petal. Again, this is the uh, craft glue, the craft melody glue that I got from the Dollar Tree and it's such a gem. I love it. And for one twenty five, woo hoo hoo. Okay. It dries almost just as the fiber tack, but it's a little bit more watery. Okay. And you just wrap this around. And you continue wrapping. And then you tie it off at the top. Now I'm going to go ahead and tie it off and then raise it again so you can see. And voila. Here she is, my little angel. All that's needed is for me to go in and complete her face. I pray you can see this well. This is my embellishment. I've been creating these. I love them so very much, my little darlings. They are so fabulous. Here's a bigger girl, and I've been creating them. Thank you so much. This is Aisha at Young's Paper Creations. If you're not yet a subscriber, please go on and subscribe and share. Thank you so very much. If you're interested in the journals, contact me at Young's Paper Creations. And um, God bless. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.